Baja Beach Fest VIP experience. How much is it? Is it worth it? Would I do it again next year? We're gonna go over all of that and more in this video. Let's get started. Yo, what's up guys? It's your man Royal coming at you guys with another video. We are gonna be talking about my experience, the VIP experience for Baja Beach Fest in 2020. Too. So stick around, watch this entire video. I'm going to be talking about a bunch of different topics that are going to help you decide next year. Should you upgrade to VIP or possibly even attend Baja Beach Fest 2023 just in general? We're going to be going over early check ins, VIP bathrooms, entrance into Papas and Beers, how to go by purchasing the tickets, artist performances and so much more. Do yourself a big favor. Make sure you guys hit that subscribe button if you like this content and you want me to continue to bring out Baja Beach Fest content as well. Hit the like button so that other people can see this video and they can learn all that they need to know about attending Baja Beach Fest. But without further ado, let's get started with the number one tip about purchasing your VIP tickets with Baja Beach Fest. VIP tickets will sell out. They've sold out for the last four years since they started Baja Beach Fest. And my best recommendation to you is to go to the Baja Beach Fest website right now and sign up to be on their emailing list where they will let you know when they are going to be selling the tickets. And I have found countless times and times again that they release the tickets to email subscribers earlier than they do to the general public so that you can get first dibs on VIP tickets and the VIP experience. The second perk for purchasing Baja Beach Fest VIP tickets are is that you will be allowed early entrance into the festival grounds at 12 p.m. Unlike GA or general admission, they are only allowed to they are only allowed to enter at 2 p.m which gives the VIP ticket holders an additional two hours of the festival grounds to enjoy the many different activities that they have for us at Baja Beach Fest, like the beer pong, the Baja booty, the roller skating, the Ferris wheel, the glam station for all my ladies that wanted to get their hair braided and many, many other different activities that they have for us on the festival grounds. The third perk, for purchasing your VIP tickets is going to be how close up you can get to the artists during their performance. You're literally walking around the whole GA crowd to get up to the front where you can even get even closer up to the stage to see the artists during their performances. This by far is the best perk for purchasing VIP tickets. You can maneuver through the crowd, as the crowd leaves, you can slide in and come closer and you don't have to be there all day and all night to get super close up for any of the performances. It was a great time and it was very easy to get to the front for some of the main event performances for Baja Beach Fest, which I was very, very surprised about. The fourth perk for VIP attendance to Baja Beach Fest is going to be the designated VIP bathrooms, bars, and food choices for you to purchase food. With the VIP bathrooms, the VIP section, we had our own bathrooms that were right up in the front that was very close to the stage. So if we wanted to go and use the restroom and come right back, it was nothing but a five minute walk to the restroom and then right back and you're back with your group, which I really liked. As well with the VIP bathrooms, they were gender specific, which I thought was really nice to kind of keep the genders separated, males, females the females had one side that was very easy for them to get to that was right there by the stage the males had another side that was right there next to it that was really easy for the guys to go in and come right back out of as well the next thing is going to be the bar section whoever did this bar section for Baja Beach Fest they need to do it again next year and I think other festivals should definitely take a look and an example at what Baja Beach Fest did this year they had a whole side of the VIP section that was completely bars. So you could easily walk up and grab a drink, grab a cocktail, grab a Modelo, whatever you wanted to get and go right back to your party and be back at your party in like five minutes. Although I did hear from a friend of mine, Jose, he said the right side 
of Baja Beach Fest was pretty packed to get a drink. But when he went to the left side, it was literally night and day. So for next year, we'll probably be solely only going to the left side because that whole section was all bar all the way down and there was never a wait i went over there i got water i got drinks and came right back and i didn't even have to wait in the line there were plenty of helpers waiters that were over there waiting to assist me as i walked up to get my drink and head right back to my party the food options as well i do i did like how they did that with baja beach fest in the vip section you have your own food choices for you to go up and grab food and go back to your party as well Rather than having to co-mingle with the GA and the VA with the GA and the VIP section, you can easily just go to the VIP area, get your drinks, get your food, use the restroom, all in a separate section solely for VIP members. So great job with this Baja Beach Fest. I definitely will be getting VIP tickets just because when you get in that VIP atmosphere. You just have to stay in VIP and you don't have to go back out and then come back in to be able to enjoy yourself. The fifth perk for purchasing VIP tickets over GA tickets is going to be, you know, access to the festival vendors selling food, drinks, beers and water throughout the entire performances uh, of Baja Beach Fest, as well as while the artists are on stage performing and in between sets. What do I mean by this? With you being in GA, it's super crowded and it's super packed. And I had numerous of times where I could look back and you could see so many people. But when the vendors were trying to serve these people drinks, beverages, food, etc., they can only do it from the outside perimeter because it's so packed and it's so congested on the inside. Versus with VIP, they can go in between the people, they can go in between the crowds because it's not as congested. So if you want a pizza, if you want tacos, if you want any kind of food, they have the accessibility to get to you as well as you can get to them if you want to buy food, if you want to buy drinks, if you want to buy beer, and et cetera. And then as well, remember, like I said in the previous perk, you can go and buy your drinks at the bar that's to the left in the VIP section, or you can stand there and there'll be people coming by trying to give you drinks and trying to serve you in the VIP section. If you are in the GA area, you're going to have to completely leave your section. You're going to have to leave your spot to crawl through a mass crowd of people to then get a drink or to use a restroom and then come back. And now your spot is gone or it's going to be 10 times harder for you to crawl through a massive surge of people to get back to your spot. But overall, guys, Baja Beach Fest is an amazing time. Whether you're going to be purchasing GA tickets or VIP tickets, man, down there in Rosarito, those people always treat us very well when we're down there. We enjoy coming down there all the time. You know, uh, estoy aprendiendo español, pero yo necesito practicar más. But um, it, it's a lot of fun going down there and spending time in Rosarito. Uh, Alex is my man down there. If you guys are down there and poppers and beers, always ask for Alex. He's a uh, camarero. He'll be able to help you guys with drinks, food, etc. Make sure you guys tip him. Make sure you guys tip him. Okay, tip him. Tip my man, uh, mi primo. But uh, it, it's a great time down there, and you guys are gonna love Baja Beach Fest. If you like to party, you like Spanish music, you like being in Mexico, you like tacos, you like partying. The fiestas are always crazy and it keeps going even after baja beach fest they have the after party they have the after party and that is going to be the next perk for purchasing your vip tickets the after party for papas and beers comes included with your ticket and the after party starts right after the main event person is finished with their performance after the main event everybody leaves and you see the whole crowd leave the whole Baja Beach West venue and everybody goes and gets in the Papas and Beers line and the party is not over. The after party starts at 2 a.m. and it ain't over until you go home. Unfortunately for my group and my party, we didn't stay too long. We only did about an hour at the after party and then we were just kind of crashed and we were just tired. But the after party for VIP tickets comes included with your admission. You can't get no better than that. The last perk for purchasing VIP tickets to Baja Beach Fest is going to be full festival grounds access. 
You can go everywhere on the festival grounds. You can go in, you can go out, you can enjoy all of the activities. As well, if you have friends that are in the GA area, you can go in the GA area and spend time with your friends even though you have a VIP wristband. If you have a GA ticket, you can't go to the VIP section if you have friends that are in the VIP section. So I'm always going to recommend, especially for everything that I just spoke about in this video, for you guys to purchase the VIP tickets for Baja Beach Fest. But remember, you guys got to make sure that you sign up with the email link. Email link is going to give you first dibs on those tickets, those op those options that I've mentioned throughout this entire video and that's and those are options and opportunities that you do not want to miss out on it an additional two hours to enjoy the beer pong to the ferris wheel the glam station to make sure the ladies get their hair done to be able to be super close up to some of the dopest and awesome artists and get some of the great performances that these guys put on like yo man El alpha this guy went on stage in a green shirt and by the time he got done that shirt was dark green because he was up there sweating so much and putting on such a performance Anwe Doble, I, I know he was hot as hell that first day in them pants and that sweatshirt he changed his outfit for weekend too I definitely noticed that but guys VIP for Baja Beach Fest is the way to go you get space you're not super crowded if you can afford it you're able to enjoy yourself with your friends you're able to focus on the performance have your drinks have your food it is 100 percent worth it and the question that i'm going to answer for you guys is is what i do vip for baja beach fest again you already know the answer to that question of course i'm going to do vip for 2023 next year Hopefully they just don't go up like these Disney prices. These Disneyland prices are getting crazy. But nonetheless, yes, I will be going to Baja Beach Fest 2023. My group will be going to Baja Beach Fest 2023. We will be doing VIP again. If you guys see us out there, say what's up. Say what's up. We're all we're loving people. We're super dope people. I'll put you in the videos. You'll see yourself like you're seeing everybody else turn up right now in these videos. It would be so much fun for us to be able to go down there and have fun with all of you, as well as we're going to have a great and amazing time with everybody that went with us this year. Uh, Claire and I, Sean, Margarita, my man Jose, we're all super loving people. If you even see us down there for papas and beers, make sure you guys say what's up. People always see us and recognize us from the Rosarito area. We ain't got nothing but love but nonetheless guys that is it it's been your man royal if you guys are excited for baja beach fest 2023 and you want to see more videos of what you should expect check down in the description down below as well if you cannot wait to have another good time to have another la fiesta instead and you want to go down to rosarito and you want to check it out make sure you guys check out my papas and beers videos they have papas and beer events that go on throughout the entire year leading up to baja beach fest to get you ready for the excitement the party the non-stop partying for baja beach fest that goes on make sure you guys check down the description down below if you like the video thus far hit the like button as well make sure you guys comment down below if you're watching all the way right now watching this video make sure you guys hashtag baja beach fest down below in the comments so my other festive people can see this video they can vibe out with us and they can get all of the tips of why they want to be purchasing vip tickets but nonetheless guys it's been your man royal thank you guys so much for watching this video i will see you in the next one peace out